Dave Mazda, welcome back to TFNN. Hey, happy to be back. So, so picture this, Dave, right? You're too young to remember inflation. I remember inflation, but I just barely do when this was happening, okay? So all weekend long, man, I'm hunting, 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 like, okay, you know, we got hard assets, inflation, all that. But anyway, I get over to your website, and I say, you know, the heck with inflation, because something that is really out here that we know is out here, and this, was, this is right on the Direction website, folks. It's the $4 trillion trade, and it is infrastructure and transportation, right? I mean, this is here now, right? Yeah, exactly. So what 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 I what we find interesting is obviously they're interconnected. People are saying we're going to if you're going to spend all this money, then you'll get even more inflation. But to your point, let's set that aside. What we do know is these are live negotiations. But what we're hearing, uh, you know, you don't need to be a Washington insider. You can read your favorite newspaper. They're going to get something done if they have to go at it alone on the infrastructure side. I think everyone can agree the bridges, the tunnels, the roads need to get done. But what he's talking about is this much broader sense of infrastructure. So we're seeing opportunities uh, with uh, in the 5G space uh, and the communication side, building up broadband. There's opportunities with healthcare uh, to build that out. So this this infrastructure package is much broader than it was historically, and the trades that can come out of it are not just kind of your traditional industrials, materials, et cetera, even though they, they, uh, they are there too. No, there's no doubt. And folks says you're over there. So you get a couple symbols. You get D-U-S-L, which, which ends up being the industrials. Yes. You have T-P-O-R, which is uh, the transportations. You know, you know what is really cool about these, Dave? What, I mean, you're talking about big established companies that actually can be growing pretty dramatically when we're talking about the kind of money that we're talking about. And we, I think no matter, you know, whether it's Republican, Democrat, Independent, I think everyone knows we need infrastructure, period. Okay, so I agree that something's going to be done here. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. And so, yeah, we're already starting to see it with some of the, the moves that, we, uh, that are happening in T4. Again, that's uh, your, your bull side of transportation uh, because that's an area that, uh, to your point, has been underinvested in under this broader framework of infrastructure the beneficiaries are going to be found in there along with your traditional industrial side. Uh, but look at what we're seeing even with biotech today uh, with Labu and LabD. Oh, yeah. Ton tons of extra, you know, unbelievable performance, a lot of trading volume because, you know, again, this Alzheimer's drug, I think that's what's getting the attention here. But they're going to be, if you, again, if you go through the package, it's all on the, it's all on the website. They're going to be diverting money to more of these treatments. You can apply that to tons of other diseases and things. So the money that's going to start flowing into those areas is really robust. Even though biotech's had an unbelievable run, it, we're just at an interesting juncture here that for traders can take advantage of some of these moves coming out of Washington. There's no doubt. And, and what had happened out here today, folks, okay, uh, just in case you're just in your car coming home from work, uh, the bottom line is that a Biogen you know, got okayed by the FDA for an Alzheimer's drug. And as Dave was talking about the uh, Lab U, Lab U is the bull, uh, you know, uh, direction, uh, three, three hundred percent um, leveraged a product, and you can see uh, these are always sweet, Dave. When you built a base and then they're coming off a base, you know, which I, you know, the, the bottom line is that we've, we're coming off the base. So um, pretty, and, and, and they're the same type of deal, meaning that. We have large companies that are inside here that are basically just getting going in the aspect of, uh, you know, basically helping people, uh, hopefully in this particular case, that disease is a terrible disease. Uh, you know. Yeah, exa exactly. And, and look, bio, to your point, Biogen might not be the biggest uh, healthcare company, but it's not just some uh, focus on some experimental drugs and some rare disease. Right. Um, you know, some of those names are going to be in that basket, too. But what we're seeing here is this opportunity set in your point. If you look at the technicals, in a lot of these spaces, we certainly know there's been a rotation, a rotation from rotation, uh, but biotech, even some of the outperformance of the NASDAQ today, I find interesting uh, relative to the broader market that again, maybe uh, we're finding ourselves a bit of a floor in some of these, uh, these growth year names that were just kind of sold off in unison when people moved away from big cap tech, giving some opportunities in areas that still are growth but maybe not just your, you know, again, your, your Microsoft, Googles, a Amazons of the world. Yeah, it's certainly an uh, exciting time to be alive. There's no doubt about it. Well, listen, man, thank you so much for the great education. And folks, just oh, you're on our website, just hit the direction banner. You're going to be able to see. And uh, it's very exciting, Dave, that uh, 
We have a uh, bottom line, that infrastructure, uh, transportation trade, that's something that's going to go on for quite a while, man. I mean, yeah, so this yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah, exactly. I, I encourage everybody to take a look at that article because uh, Tom's point is the right one. Have a great one, Dave. Have a safe one. We'll see you soon. Thank you.